ratios. A ratio is a comparison between two or more similar quantities. Let's say in a class there are 18 boys and 17 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? So you know that there are 18 boys and 17 girls. So therefore, the ratios boys to girls is 18 to 17. What is the ratio of girls to boys? So therefore, girls are 17, boys 18. So therefore, the ratio is 17 to 18. Now, what is the ratio of boys to the total number of students in a class? So you know that there are 18 boys, 17 girls, add them up. Okay, we get 35 students all together. So therefore, the ratio is 18 to 35. Okay? Now, here, there are some red marbles and some blue marbles. The ratio of blue marbles to red marbles is two third. I mean two to three. Okay? Now, do we know how many red marbles and how many blue marbles are there? No, we don't, right? So we don't know how many. But all we know is the ratio. So what's, what does this mean? This means that, okay, every, every two blue marbles, there are three red marbles. That's what we know. Okay, or every four blue marbles, there are six red marbles, or it can be 20 blue marbles, 30 red marbles. Okay, that's what we know, but we don't know exactly how many there are. Okay, now a ratio can be written in a form of this. Okay, this is called ratio, or it can be represented by fractions, fraction like this. Okay. Now, but when we talk about ratio, okay, we talk about a quantity to another quantity, which is A to B, P to Q, and something, you know, to something. So this is what that means, okay? So we can convert all type of numbers to ratio, okay? We can convert percentages to ratio, we can convert fractions to ratio, or we can convert mixed numeral to ratio, and we can even convert decimal to ratio, okay? Now, let's say in here, okay, blue marbles to red marbles, okay, is 2 to 3, okay? So you know the ratio of blue marble to red marble is 2 to 3. Now, what fractions, okay, of marbles are red? So what's that mean? So we need to understand that, okay, there are five parts because two parts are blue, okay, and three parts are red. So if you think about it, three parts are red, two parts are blue, you add together, we get five parts. So therefore, the fractions of mar the fraction of marbles are red is Three to uh, three over five. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, so the fraction of red are three over five. Now, what fractions of marbles are blue? Okay, so you already know blue are two. Okay, and then the red are three. All together is five. So therefore, the fraction of blue is two fifth. As simple as that. Okay, so you can convert ratio to fractions, fraction to ratio, and so on. Okay. So, um, please remember that. Now, we're going to write, do some of the examples, okay? So, let's say convert this fraction, this fraction here to ratio. So, 4 over 5, the, the ratio is 4 to 5. Simple as that, okay? So, please remember. Now, 20% percentages. Now, remember, when you talk about percent, it means talk about per hundred. Okay, 20% means 20 over 100, per 100, 20 per 100, okay? 
So if I can, if I, I simplify by cancel divide by 10 both top and divide by 10 the bottom, okay, that's what I get 210. But of course, I can simplify further, right? So I can the numerator, which is the top, I can divide by two, and the bottom divide by two. We call common denom um common factor. So we both divide by two, so which is equal one fifth. That's a fraction. But we want we have we want to write in ratio form. So therefore, one fifth is same as one to five. Okay, that's ratio form. Now, two and one third. 2 and 1 third, what is it? It's mixed numeral, right? So therefore, before we even want to convert to ratio form, okay, we need to convert that into improper fraction first because this is mixed numeral. To convert to improper fractions, if you remember, okay, all you need to do is 2 times 3, okay, whatever that is, you add 1, okay? So give you numerator, which is 2 times 3, add 1 is 7. So therefore, to write down uh, improper fractions, that's what you get, 7 over 3. So therefore, the ratio is 7 to 3. Okay, now, this one here, this is decimal 1.5, okay, so to convert that into ratio, 1.5 is written in fraction as 3 over 2, right? So therefore, 3 over 2 in fractions, Okay, that's what it is, but to write in ratio, it is 3 to 2. That's all it is, okay? So please keep that in mind. You can convert forward, backward, backward, forward, okay? We're gonna, this is how we're gonna do it, okay? Let's go, okay. Let's talk, this is um, Huang Maths, okay? So um, Huang Maths, so we're gonna have a look. So what is the ratio of, with the, the letter Huang Mats, what is the ratio of consonants to vowels? Okay, so before we even do it, um, we have to count how many consonants and how many vowels first. Okay, let's count consonants. So the consonants are, okay, first of all, H is consonant, so 1. N is consonant, so 2. G is consonant, right, so 3. 4. M is consonant and then T is consonant and then H is consonant and S is consonant all together add up we get seven consonants okay and then our uh, vowels you can clearly see O is vowel A is vowel and A is vowel so all together is three vowels okay so that's what we get so therefore okay the consonants to vowels is must be 7 to 3, right? Very simple. Okay. Now, next question. What is the ratio of letters to vowels? So you know that there are 7 consonants and 3 vowels, correct? So therefore, if you add them up, 7 plus 3 is 10. So all together, 10 letters in Huang Maths. So therefore, okay, the letter to vowel is which means that's right, 10 to 3, okay? Now, what is the ratio of consonant to letters? So obviously, we already know 10 letters all together in Huang Maths. Now, the consonant is 7. So therefore, the ratio, okay, the ratio of consonant to letter is 7 to 10, okay? Let's move on, next one. Okay, now here is a rectangle. Okay, so what is the ratio of this rectangle? Okay, what is the ratio of the length to the width of this rectangle? So the let rectangle here, you can see the length is 9 and the width is 7. So therefore, the ratio of the length to the width is 9 to 7. Okay, have to be in that order. Please remember that for me. Length, you have to do right 9 according to length and width according to width. So length to width is 9 to 7. Okay. Next one. What is the, um, the ratio of the area to the perimeter? Okay, before we even do that, we need to find out the area of a rectangle first. Okay, and followed by finding the 
area, um, perimeter of the rectangle and then we can work out from there. So the area of a rectangle, of course, okay, we can sort that out. But we do perimeter first. The perimeter of this rectangle, because 7 plus 7 is 14, so for the width. And the length is 9 plus 9 is 18. So therefore, 2 lots of 7 plus 2 lots of 9, which is 14 plus 18. So the perimeter of this is 32 centimeters. Okay? And to work out the area, of course, length time width. So the area of this is 9 times 7, so 63 centimeters square. So therefore, the area of this okay, perimeter, uh, area to perimeter is, is what? Area to perimeter, which is 63 to 32. What is the ratio of the width to the perimeter? So now we already found the perimeter and then the width of this rectangle is 7, correct? So that means the answer is 7 to 32, okay? Thank you so much for watching my videos.